Hey guys, uh, so real quick, I'm gonna do a November market update on the fly. What we have going on here in November is kind of the same thing. Our market has stayed steady for yet another month, right at 650 homes on the market in Edmond. So inventory is steady. We're seeing homes sit on the market a little bit longer. Uh, there's a lot more homes. And so this is, this is kind of what's happening with the sellers. And I realized maybe I hadn't communicated entirely well my thought process when I told people prices aren't dropping. So what we had in early 2022 is prices started skyrocketing. And in my mind, like I knew this was an anomaly in the market it would not last long. It just couldn't. And so I never really thought of that period where prices went sky high as legitimate prices. So I kind of omitted that as like an anomaly in the market. And sure enough, what's happened is prices skyrocketed starting in February, end of July and August, they start dropping. But now we're back to average sales price in Edmond being right around February numbers right back at the beginning of that anomaly in the market. So in my mind, that's where it should have been all, all along. And so I kind of omitted that. So yes, prices did go up in early 2022, you know, for six months and they dropped back down. We are, the, the prices have dropped down and we're back to February 2022 average sales prices. Where we go from here is up to question. We just had another rate increase, interest rate increase, and, and it's just gonna depend on uncertainty in the market, I think. With inventory still being low, we still have enough buyer demand to keep prices up, but what we're seeing happen is sellers, and I, I have to advise you sellers against this, sellers are pricing their homes as though it's still in the summer of 2022. Homes are not selling for those prices anymore. You cannot use comps from the summer. You have to use recent comps or really have to omit those comps from that weird blip in the market, the anomaly in the market that happened from February, January, February, all the way to, you know, a home went under market in mid July, end of July. It's not going to close until end of August, September. So all of those comps before then in 2022, you kind of have to omit. Homes are not going to sell for those prices anymore. So what we're seeing happen is sellers aren't doing that. They're looking at the comps from earlier in 2022 and in the summer and saying, oh, I can use those comps to sell my house. It's not working. People aren't willing to pay those prices anymore. You have to price based on the current market. What's sold in the last 30 days or so, or pre-December 2021. The homes that are sitting on the market are the ones that are they're, they're priced as though it's the summer. So if you're putting your house on the market, what you need to do is price as though that was an anomaly early 2022 through the summer was an anomaly in the market can't use those comps. Prices though, homes that have sold in the last 30 days or less or pre-January 2022. Now for buyers, this obviously has an effect on you guys too. You have more options. And we just submitted an offer for a house in Edmond for 20,000 less than list price. Now we didn't get the house. We weren't able to come to an agreement but it was considered, which says a whole lot. We would have been laughed at uh, three months ago. Absolutely laughed at. So the market has changed for buyers, it's changed for sellers. You have to work accordingly. 